Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. We're taking a look at the daily news, starting with the red deck here with love. Then we'll move on to um, general finances, and then I'll be pulling an individual card for each of the astrological signs in part two per usual. Let's get it moving. We have the Wheel of Fortune as the first card out. Turning the wheel, spinning the wheel, that's what's on the table. Destiny, fate, divine timing. Let's let the energies at play play themselves out. That's what somebody is stating. You have the seven of pentacles. It's been very exhausting. Now let's let's focus on the good stuff. Is what someone is stating. Let's let's be. This has been exhausting. Let's let it go. Let's focus on the good stuff. Is what they're stating. The seven of wands. This is about boundaries. Well, we're not let it, gonna let it get too good. Is what <laughs> two sevens. Okay, so it, because there's a boundary here, it could be the will is turning away from that boundary. What's happening is dependent. There's the four of pentacles trying to sneak in. Somebody is maybe trying to get you to loosen up, let your boundaries down. They may want to, like, do to do is what I'm getting. Let's see. Somebody could want to do to do. Want you to let down your boundaries. Let down your guard. The line is drawn here. But what you're needing to do in order to cross the line is clearly spoken to you. There's the two of wands. So you're having conversation with someone. There's the Knight of Cups, communication from the love entries with the Seven of Pentacles crowning it. A lot of... If there's been time, energy, and effort already put into something, it could be about... Now, we rode that wave as far as it could take us. Now, the two of wands, let's introduce this into the equation. That's the two of wands, some type of conversation, intimate conversations here. But yeah, I'm going to try to make the moves on you sexually first, okay? You know, I just can't help it. And then let's go ahead and get to the intimate conversation. And then they expect you to put the boundary. They're like, okay, now let's get to this conversation. I want to communicate something to you. Don't expect me not to act like a man around you is what they're stating. Whatever that means to them. Three of Pentacles holding you a high regard, high esteem. There's the Two of Cups. You know, somebody wants wants to do to do is what I'm getting. And it's like, you're like, well, we're not there yet. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm there. I, I'm there too. But um, there's something that... Hmm. I, I, I'm getting the energy of if, if you something about the cow and the calf or something like that. Okay, like you can't just be wanting what well, somebody could be wanting some type of makeup says, or they, somebody could be wanting like sex. Now, and it's like, somebody's like, okay, this is where the boundary stops. Yeah, we can collapse in one of those arms with this Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Pentacles. Um, because just as exhausting as you've been for me, um, I know that I've been that for you also. But there's a boundary here of how far that collapsing is going to go. Into something else is made clear and you need to verbalize that which you know needs to be made clear first. Or this is off the table. And they're like, well, I expected you to state that. But I was going to make the moves on you first because you can't expect me not to act like a man. Oh, so I don't know what that's about. Okay, this is them how you in high esteem with the boundaries. Kind of know that you're, you hold yourself in high esteem also. Okay, is that. So this is putting them in line. And that's the two of cups. They can have feelings for you. They can want you to deepen your, feel, your feelings for them. Or they can want a deepening of feelings. You know. 
That's the Queen of Pentacles. That's why I got this high esteem energy and how you see yourself and how they see you also. That's the Queen of Pentacles. Very grounded, very having a demeanor, having a way, having a beauty. It's the Queen of Pentacles, knowing how one wants to be treated, having a way that they're accustomed to being treated and not going to settle for less. And you have the, self, the Eight of Pentacles, the person crowning you, they're trying to make up with you. And it's like, well... If you got the rose out of my front yard garden, okay, does it really matter? Okay, it's that. Now, and they're like, well, you got me again is what they're stating. And then this is the two of wands, them talking. And I'm ready to cut the BS is what they're stating. I'm tired of telling you how to make up with me is what you're stating to them. I'm waiting for you to press the right buttons. Ace of Pentacles. Let's see here. Is this with the Queen of Pentacles in the chariot? That could be the right button. And he has to decide what the button is. There's the Ace of Cups. There's the Emperor. There's the Two of Cups. Okay, now both of you are standing. And he's like, well, when are we going to get to the both of us are laying down part? That's with this Two of Cups. And you're like, well, King of Cups is, this can be symbolism, or it could be a water sign. And he's like, well, we're going to have to, this is the Will of Fortune crown it. The will of fortune. What it depends on what your communication is about. What are you communicating? What what what's the offer? What offer is the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups? What offer it then? And then the wheel turns, the wheel spins, is that. So that's what is here. Somebody's like, well, somebody may have already sampled it. I feel that like this is gonna be somebody that you already had sex with. Us you did you have not. And this emperor is like, well, what's the key to unlock this cookie jar or uh, unlock it again or unlock it for the first time? Okay, he's like, well, okay. <laughs> I want to unlock the cookie jar and lock myself in it, is what he's stating with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, with the Two of Cups. In the Chariot. And, and then for some, <laughs> some of you, this somebody's feeling that if this is somebody that you already had sex with, they're feeling that well. And then that's when you turned around and walked away in the opposite direction. Okay, so some of them um, that they could come, they be coming back. They will be coming back because they can want a relationship with you. This man can be. He's like, I'm headed back in your direction. Okay. And I need to sweeten up what I'm offering because that sexual encounter didn't move you. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Up to you, the sex hasn't happened yet. And somebody's like, well, I've gathered my resources and I know what I'm working with. Okay. <laughs> That's that. Okay. And this is sexually, emotionally, and what I can offer practically as it relates to a relationship. So I'm just going to offer it all at once at one time. So that you won't judge me on offering it separately. Okay. Because I don't want you walking in the wrong direction. Somebody's trying to get the queen of pentacles. I don't want you walking in the wrong direction. So.
So I feel that the best route to take is to over to take is to overwhelm you with my goodies, you know, and and then see where it takes us. Hopefully to the consummation of the relationship. That's for those of you that have not had sex with this person. This is about sex, making love. This is him trying to sneak in. Okay, a back in for us of you is, and I want to consummate the relationship. I don't know what that's about with the King of Cups. This King of Cups could be a water sign sometime or it could be symbolism. And nothing about it is going to be priestly, is what he's stating. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Okay. You're the star. How can you... Keep making me feel like that. I don't know what that means. And then telling me to want you and not want you at the same time. The Queen of Pentacles is here. There's your high fence. There's your high fence. And the Ace of Wands, the phallic symbol. Here's your hyphen here showing up. And I feel that this King of Cups, symbolic for a water sign. It could be what H actually could be a water sign, sun sign, or it could be any man. He was about to say that, well, because it came up with the <laughs> with the uh phallic symbol here in the start. And he was about to say that, well, something like I'm gonna polish this penis to perfection or something, and then the hyphen shows up. Let's see. We're going to clarify that. This is going to be binding and bonding. <laughs> you know, because the Ace of Wands is somebody could get pregnant. This is binding one to one. Or somebody, this is about commitment with the Hierophant showing up in the Ace of Wands here in the Phallic Symbol. is binding through pregnancy or binding through commitment. And it's with the star in the Hierophant. That can be what the intention is. Queen of Pentacles there. Six of Wands. Hyphen. Again. I know this is what he's stating. I I know you're not gonna um settle less uh, um than commitment or something. Could have happened has already made the decision or something about decision has already been made. I, I know what is wanted or what is expected is what I'm getting with this because it's the star. Is the Queen of Pentacles energy? This somebody you've already dealt with as I stated from your past, recent past, distant past. It's, it's already been told to me. I've already been well informed. But you keep rejecting what's in my cup. The King of Cups is holding the cup. Serving some type of justice by rejecting what's in his cup. Some type of justice or some type of karmic energy. Or something about what? Some type of balance. Let's give a little bit of power to this. Trying to give power to something.
Why is the Harfit sleeping with the key is what he's stating. Okay. Harfit shows up here twice. Why is the Harfit sleeping with the key? What are my options? Strategy is what he's stating. Strategic. I'm trying to get a monopoly on those goodies as well. Here's the king because that's the rural card. Okay, this is the eight of wands with communication in the sun. Some of y'all could pop up pregnant or is, is somebody is binding you. Somebody's like, I'm coming with the whole kit caboodle. Like they come with the ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and the phallic symbol. Okay, and the half it meets them at the door to double. Okay, it's like, so... I'm going to have to, and this is strategy with the seven of cups, then it goes to the royal card. How I start this cycle, eight of wands, how I get things out, get things moving, eight of wands. Conversation also included in the side, bringing in happiness and expansion. Now, how can I be judged on that is what he's stating. This is judgment. The hyphen does the judging. Will of fortune. Other than that being the... Other than that being the will that spins and turns the will for a while. Happily ever after marriage. Okay. So. But he feels that you already know what he's up to. My heart isn't a secret is what he's stating. And I'm not going to be able to reconcile this with a makeshift paddle. Okay, that's what he's stating. I'm not going to be able to reconcile this royal canoe with a makeshift paddle. Is something like that is the king of cups. Let me go rinse this cup out. Okay. He's going to rinse out the cup. Okay. Now is. So he's going to rinse out the cup. Okay, everyone. We're going to continue with the reading. There she is. The nine of pentacles. We're going to continue with the reading. That's him coming towards you. The link is in the description box. You can go to Patreon or Vimeo. Thanks for watching. Bye.